Do you think SpaceX is reevaluating its plan for Florida? As we turn our gaze toward the Sunshine State in this video, we notice an intriguing development. Florida, with its rich history in American space endeavors, has been a pivotal part of SpaceX's ambitious plans. The state's eastern coastline has seen humanity's grandest ventures into space, from the monumental Apollo missions to the innovative feats of the shuttle era. When SpaceX set its sights on Florida, it wasn't just about geographical advantage, it was about being a part of that storied legacy. But now, with the apparent deceleration in the pace of construction, there's a mystery waiting to be unraveled. So, what's really happening at SpaceX's Starship launch pad in Florida? The construction of SpaceX's Starship launch sites at the Kennedy Space Center continues to captivate SpaceX followers worldwide. This location will be the second after Boca Chica, capable of launching or landing the Starship. However, the construction at the launch pad seems to be moving slower than initially planned. The pace hasn't changed much since the last update, leading to speculation about possible reasons for the apparent delay. At this juncture, it's worth asking why SpaceX is expanding their infrastructure with additional facilities. The answer lies in the company's aspiring vision for the future. First, Musk's goal of making human life multiplanetary necessitates a fleet of starships far beyond what their current facilities can handle. The objective to launch multiple starships each day requires additional facilities, like the one being built in Florida. Second, SpaceX aims to revolutionize Earth-to-Earth -Earth travel using Starship, allowing passengers to travel between any two points on Earth within an hour. Facilitating such a global point-to-point -point transportation system would require multiple launch and landing sites worldwide. Lastly, multiple operational sites provide strategic advantages. They not only offer redundancy in the event of unforeseen circumstances at one site, but also allow for coordinated launches from different locations, which can be beneficial for certain types of missions. For instance, Earth's rotation and the specifics of the mission's trajectory can influence which launch site is optimal for a given mission. Hence, the ongoing construction in Florida and the prospective construction of future sites is a part of SpaceX's strategy to scale up its operations to meet these ambitious goals. Whether it's making human life multiplanetary, revolutionizing long-distance travel, or simply diversifying their launch options, every new facility brings SpaceX one step closer to achieving its vision. Despite the slowdown, it's clear that SpaceX is not losing sight of its plans for the Starship launch pad in Florida. A plausible explanation is that SpaceX is proceeding with an abundance of caution as they experiment with new technologies and methodologies. They're keen to ensure that the innovative cooling system they're using, water-cooled steel plates designed to manage the extreme heat generated during Starship's test flights and re-entry, works as expected before being replicated at the Kennedy Space Center launch pad. This cautious approach allows SpaceX to collect invaluable data and insights on the cooling system's effectiveness and reliability, thereby ensuring it meets the rigorous requirements of the Starship program. While some might be disconcerted by the perceived slow progress at the Starship launch pad, it's crucial to appreciate SpaceX's commitment to safety and constant improvement. As they gain more understanding and confidence in the performance of the water-cooled steel plates, we can expect further advancements at the Kennedy Space Center launch pad. Maybe they'll even surprise us with something more impressive, like a flame trench made of water-cooled steel plates. Florida's predominantly sandy soil terrain can be beneficial for constructing flame trenches, as it tends to provide sturdy support for structures. However, given the Starship's larger size and superior propulsion capabilities compared to Falcon rockets, the flame trench system would need to be upscaled and re-engineered to handle the increased heat and thrust generated during launch. Regardless of how SpaceX opts to design the launch pad structure, the result will undoubtedly be intriguing. With a strong history of prioritizing safety measures and devising innovative solutions to tackle potential risks, we can expect that SpaceX will incorporate appropriate safety features into its Florida launch pad as the Starship continues its evolution and testing phases. This will help ensure the success of future launches. In the meantime, the team at Starbase Texas is busily upgrading the Starship pad. They have drilled a complex network of holes and filled them with concrete and steel bars to create a solid foundation for the landing pad. 
The engineers have also installed water-cooled piles and steel plates to help manage the extreme heat generated during Starship's landings. This process reaffirms that SpaceX is taking the time to ensure things are done correctly. The ongoing rapid progress at Starbase aligns perfectly with Musk's past promises. Major launchpad upgrades are expected to be completed by mid-July, with another month dedicated to testing the new launchpad. If all goes well, the second test launch of Starship could potentially occur by the end of August. Despite the first test launch of the Starship being somewhat chaotic, it did provide valuable lessons and identified areas for improvement. Musk envisions Starship as the primary means of transporting cargo and humans to any location on Earth and beyond into space. Thus, launch sites and pads are likely to spring up globally. The second launch attempt is vital, and if successful, it will likely expedite the completion of the backup site in Florida, necessary for the hundreds of future missions envisaged. NASA, with its plans for lunar exploration, is eagerly awaiting SpaceX's completion of their launch pad facilities. The agency is particularly interested in SpaceX meeting their proposed timelines. The reason for this anticipation is the vital role that SpaceX's Starship plays in NASA's Artemis program, a series of missions aiming to return humans to the moon. With SpaceX tasked to deliver astronauts to the lunar surface, any delays in their infrastructure development could impact NASA's mission schedules. Having an additional launch pad in Florida could help speed up the moon mission and offer expanded launch capabilities for transporting crews and cargo to various destinations, including the International Space Station and beyond. NASA's immediate goal is getting to the moon as part of their Artemis III mission, for which they selected Starship to land humans by late 2025. However, having the Starship near Pad 39A is causing some concern within NASA, especially considering SpaceX's history with prototype rockets exploding on launch paths. A Starship explosion near Pad 39A could disrupt NASA's sole means of launching astronauts to the International Space Station. Hence, the backup launch pad in Florida serves as a safety measure, ensuring that SpaceX won't bring the Starship to Kennedy until it's ready for prime time. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you found it informative and useful. If you did, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.